This is the title of the paper. Now at this point, we know that COVID causes various coagulopathies uh, that may be accompanied by hypercoagulation and platelet hyperactivation. This paper is really nice because they look at healthy individuals, people with type 2 diabetes, acute COVID, and then those with long COVID. This acute COVID is what we're going to want to think about for these Tour de France riders. This is a fantastic study out of South Africa from the Stellenbosch University. They collected whole blood samples and then did whole blood testing, hematocrit testing, and then they also did platelet poor plasma testing uh, for brain gen testing, so this is the fibrous microclots, and then they tried to break down the fibrous microclots um, using trypsin digestion protocols. Now, the crazy thing about this trypsin digestion protocol is that the healthy plasma and the type 2 diabetes, it only took one iteration to get the samples ready. However, you needed two iterations of this to get the samples ready for testing for the acute COVID and long COVID people. The clots were so hard to break down that they had to do this twice. That's ridiculous. They had to have the enzyme react with it to degrade it one time and then again to get the samples uh, to be able to be processed. Anyways, so the first major thing is right here. The blood viscosity of people with an active COVID infection and acute COVID infection uh, are going to have increased plasma viscosity. This means the blood is going to be harder to flow in the body. And for a rider, for a cyclist, this is going to be something that's going to impact them greatly. Interestingly, in the long COVID patients, you don't have this increased blood viscosity, but you do during the acute infection. Next in their study, let's look at the difference between the different patients and the blood clotting. It should be pretty apparent. In the healthy controls, you have very low clotting. In the diabetic patients, very low clotting. But then, when you have acute COVID, you have very active fibrous microclotting. And we're seeing the same thing in the long COVID patients. However, this is what we're very interested in for their riders, because if this is happening in their bodies and they're working out very hard, it's very likely these will clump together into a larger uh, clot and then cause a uh, pulmonary thromboembolism, uh, basically throw a blood clot either in their legs, in their heart, in their lungs, something bad will happen. And this is why I'm very worried about the Tour de France riders.